Okay, this is a first blooming of um, a Brassio Catlea Sunny Delight crossed to Richard Mueller. And I want to say about four to five years ago, I bought a community pot of it from H&R Nurseries. And I have given a few away over the years, but I've kept a lot of them. And one of the biggest ones when I got it and I took it out of the community pot, I put it in semi-hydro and it basically didn't bloom. So other ones have bloomed. I've given away this orchid and it has bloomed for people. But um, I bloomed a couple that were like in just like uh, moss and they were basically yellow. And other people that I've given ones to, um, theirs bloomed out and they were like these beautiful sunset colors. So I'm really excited because this is the first one, um, one of the few ones that I have that's in semi-hydro that bloomed out um, first time. It, it's not yellow, it's this like funky red orange. So most of the ones I have look like this. So you can see them, so here they are. So right here, see this right here? So they're just, I put them all in moss. Um, when I took them out of the community pot, they're individually. So there's like, and I still have um, probably like a good half dozen of these. So here, see, here's one right here, right? They're all basically growing out of their little pots. And then I gave lots and lots of these guys away um, over the years. But this was part of my quest to, um, bloom a lot of these and to see if the seedling crosses had different colors and I have bloomed this in a previous year um, a different one because this one right here is the first time that this particular one has bloomed and I'm just really excited that it's not, it's not a straight yellow so I will share um, I think a photo from a previous year of one that did bloom out yellow and it's a little disappointed but i'm very excited today that this one is orange so this one right here is the one that has bloomed before it's the same exact cross but it's um it's also in semi-hydro and this one is the one where the photo is yellow all right, that was last week. And now um, that BL Sunny Delight by Richard Mueller has been open a week and you can see it has turned all yellow. But if you compare the two lips, you know that this is the same flower. So this is how much um, the flower fades in one week. So then right behind it, right here is one that looks similar, let's see what it is. And But this one is, oh, all right. Oh no, it's a different one. I thought it was my Penny Corotta Spots, but my Penny Corotta Spots actually just looks like crap. Um, so this right here, right behind it, uh, is, I don't know if I can get it. Oh, is another, um, Sunny Delight by Richard Mueller. Oh, I had three of these in semi-hydro. I didn't realize that. You see how much I'm losing track of my stuff? So it's just opening up now. You can see that it has a different lip pattern. And it has one. So here's all three of the ones that I have in semi-hydro. And um, I'm gonna do a quick tour of my other Rich Mueller's because it is Richard Mueller season. All right, over here on my table, my um, second golden tang is still going strong. Right here. This right here is um, BL Dan O'Connor. It has this really beautiful large cluster and you can see right here, this flower has more recently opened. You can see the faint redness and then these flowers are older and they're more yellow and then it has one single flower right here and then this right here is my 
Richard Miller by Willette Wong. And um, I think I have a photo of this right when it opened up. It's much more red. And then this um, down here is um, BL Sunspots Alford. This is always really confusing because there's a Richard Mueller cross called Sunspots, two words. And then there is another um, Catalea called Sunspots, uh, which is one word. And this, I also have another photo of it, um, right when it opened. And this is very red. You can see like these two, see how red that is? Sunspots has this beautiful patterning on it. And then um, it has, um, it was really, really red when it opened. But I love this one. This one is, I don't know if it's a division. I think it's a division of the awarded Alfred clone. Um, we're not clone var varietal. And I got that a few years ago from Jerry. All right, so then here are my Richard Mueller's that are still in um, my, my racks. So we've seen this one several times. This is, I believe, um, Melody Fair by Richard Mueller. Um, oh no, sorry. This, haha, so see how confusing it is. This is actually the Sunset Glory. Now, after it's been open like, I don't know, three weeks, I guess. See how faded it is? It was a brilliant purple and now it's this cream color. Um, nice and long lasting. Not as long lasting is my um, Hawaiian Leopard Mei Ling. So you can see these flowers are almost done. It also fades. I love just how Richard Mueller's fade, but you can see like, um, this has not lasted as long. And then this, this right here, which is why I got confused. So you see this, and then you see this. You see back up, you can see the two colors look very similar. This right here is my Richard's Bonanza. So this is Bonanza Queen by Richard Mueller. It's the second flower that opened. I had two open earlier in the year. And then this one opened up and oh, you can see it's been, it's been attacked by something, maybe a grasshopper. And then up behind it is my great, great quandary right here. So this right here came, I bought it from Exotic Orchids of Maui and it came labeled as, um, um, oh, let's see, here's the tag. It came labeled as BLC Haiku Dawn Sunshine, not Sunshine Raspberries, but Sunshine. But if you look at it, it opens looking like this, right? It has no spots and the colors don't fade. It stays nice and strong, has very good substance and simply just doesn't act like um, a Richard Mueller hybrid at all. And so therefore I think it's been mixed up with something. Um, and I searched the internet and I can't find anyone else who's ever bought this clone from Exotic Orchids of Maui. So I don't quite know what happened here. And then this right here is um, the other um, Sunny Delight that I showed at the beginning of the video, right? And it's faded now, but you can tell it's a different one because of the spot pattern right here on the lip. So start that, that great pink and then fades this yellow and then right behind it, this is my BC Thai Hummingbird Hugs and Kisses XOXO that I got from High Desert Orchid. So that's my second one of that one. Um, I showed, I think, the first one in a previous video. All right, I think this is the last Richard Mueller that I have in bloom. And this is my uh, Richard Mueller by Encyclia adenocarpa that I got from May River Orchids. 